Today's book is The Wealthy Barber Returns by David Chilton. This book offers very sound but boring advice. If you want to short the market or be rich in two to five years, then don't pick up this book. But if you want an easy to follow and safe path to having a modest life and a good savings account, you'll be more than happy to give this book a try. Know your opponents. It's crucial to understand that no one wants you to save. Your friends want to go out, your kid wants that new toy, businesses want you to spend, the government needs you to spend for the economy to grow, bankers want you to spend so that they can lend you some more money. So it's literally a fight of you against the world. Understand this and you'll be more prepared for battle. Live within your means. Think for a moment that you lived in a world where everyone was blind except you. Would you overspend on that car? Or on that unnecessary piece of furniture? I bet the answer is no. Live within your means and stop worrying about what people will think. If you can't afford it, then don't fool yourself and buy something. Simply try to work a little harder or get some ideas and then you'll be able to spend some money. Think before making major purchases. The novelty of buying something new fades off relatively quickly. It's super cool to buy a new car today, but is it that cool to buy, that, to buy that new car a year from now? I don't think so. I think you'll be pretty bored by that car because you've been driving it for 365 days. The same is for shoes. I remember buying a pair of shoes that I was so happy about and literally two weeks later, I didn't really see them the same way anymore because they weren't new. So when you're buying something, something that is really expensive, always think a year ahead and think how you'll behave and how you'll interpret this decision that you just made today. Do not envy and compare. Life's not fair. Get over it. Your rich buddy can afford things you can't. Your brother may be able to afford things you can't. Even your dad may be able to afford things you can't. In my personal opinion, we should learn from the rich how to make money. If they're rich, they're rich for a reason. I would like to know how they got to the place that they are. I want to follow their work ethic, not their spending habits. Because clearly they don't overspend. Because they're actually able to save money and be rich, unlike people like you or me. So always try to learn from them the good things, not the bad things. Now we're gonna get to saving. Why do we need to save? Why does your mom always keep bugging you to save a little more and stop spending on dumb stuff? We need to save because we need to prepare for the ups and downs of life. You may be laid off, there might be an emergency happening two, two years from now that you have no clue about, and you need to be prepared for that. And also you need to save because you don't want to be working until you're 100 years old. Let's be frank, that'll be pretty shitty. All your friends are either gonna be dead or retired and you're gonna be working at McDonald's. So basic rules for a sound financial life. If you start saving at 25, you should save 10 to 15% of your income. The later you start, the more money you have to put away. But keep it as a rule to save a minimum of 10 to 15%. If you want to save more, that's even better. And always have six months of expenses available for emergencies. And remember, going to Cuba and fixing your hot tub are not emergencies. Don't make excuses for emergencies. Emergencies are really serious things that could happen to you. Death, sickness, maybe a huge car accident, a natural disaster, something like that. If you just feel like you need to get away, that's not an emergency. Now we'll talk about the pros and cons of the book. So I really like this book because it gave me a framework 
and made me understand why I should not spend and why I should save. I didn't really understand this before, but it doesn't give me a plan to make more money and increase my income. You can only save so much, but it'd be much better if I could spend the same amount of money that I spent today, but increase my income by tenfold. So it'd be cool to have something like that in the book, but there's definitely many other books that we'll discuss in the future that talk about the other aspect. This is mainly a defense book, and we'll probably talk about some attack books in next week.